receive the kingdom as a child. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for November the 25th, 2020, according to St. Luke. People were bringing even infants to him, that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them. But it is, so, but it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. A certain ruler asked him, Good teacher, glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. I was starting to overstep to the next gospel, not just yet. What is the Lord telling us today? We see the contest of the time, and even today when the important where or when and where the important persons are the adult males hey we are the important ones we are the ones that deserve your attention you're laying on the hands and everything else but the lord rebukes them and humiliates them he says to such as this is to whom the kingdom belongs and we must ask ourselves, how do we become like children again? I believe that there is a missing little part in the Gospel that I read, because it's the international version, which I read for you in English, where it's one of the apostles asks, how can anyone be saved? How do we save ourselves? And the Lord says, there's nothing impossible for God. But we need to become like children if we want to enter into heaven. Now let us just think about how the children behave and how really they are. An infant might get, uh, might poo himself or herself. And she knows or he knows that they need to be cleansed, that their diaper needs to be changed, but they don't do, do, go about trying to change it themselves. They just cry. They know that they're dirty, but they just cry. Mom, Dad, usually it's more mom than anything. When they're hungry, they don't look for the food themselves. They cry. I'm hungry. Mama, I'm hungry. And they don't doubt the love of their mom or their parents. They trust them. If we could emulate those feelings towards God, then we wouldn't be about trying to cleanse ourselves of our own sins. For we cannot do that. All we can do is just say to God, Lord, have mercy, cleanse me. I've sinned against you. Wash me. And then he will do it. He will do it. He is the only one that can do it. Not ourselves. Not by prayers. Not by ascetism. Not by anything. We cannot cleanse ourselves out of the corruption that we have inflict ourselves by committing sin. We need to be cleansed. We need to be fed. We need to be consoled as little children, then we would be grateful because we would realize how much God cares us, cares for us and loves us. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.